Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I have good news for all of you. The Chartify plugin now has Quizmaker integration. That means that you can connect almost all of these chart types to the Quizmaker plugin. So in this video, I will show you how to connect the Quizmaker plugin to your charts and create the chart that will display the quiz statistics. If you are ready, let's start the process. To use this new feature, you must install and activate the Quizmaker and the Chart Builder plugins. This feature works with both Chartify's free and pro versions. The difference is that in the case of the free version, you will have fewer query types. As the plugins are already installed and activated, just click on the Chart Builder plugin. By clicking on the Add New button, the pop-up with all chart types appears. This feature doesn't work only with Geo, Org and Gauge chart types, so just choose any of the rest, for instance a bar chart type, and start making your chart. Well, here you can see the title field, so I type in the title of the chart. Now we can see that on the left side we have a live preview of the bar chart and on the right side the settings. So choose the source type as Get Quizmaker data. The select query field appears. You can see many query types and all we have to do is just to choose the one that we need. Well, let's start with the, the number of times the current user has passed the current quiz query type. So we can find out the number of times the user Jessica has passed the quiz we will choose now. Let's choose the uh, what is your travel personality quiz. Now, as you can see here we have buttons. By clicking on the show results button, we can see and check all results. By clicking on the show on chart button, we can see the live preview of our chart with quiz data. Here are even the days when the user passed the quiz. And since the chart is ready, you can click on the Save Data button and also continue with other suggested settings. But I don't want to do some changes on the chart, so I just click on Save and Close button and preview the chart by copying its shortcut. Now from the left sub menu, head to the Posts, click on All Posts and also on Add New button. On this page, uh, just type in the title of your chart and then pass the shortcut here. Click on the preview and also on the preview in a new tab button. That's all, our amazing chart is ready. Since the whole process is already clear, let's now go back and look at some more query types. So let's try one more query type on the bar chart. Now, for checking how many times the user Jessica has passed each quiz overall, let's select the number of times the current user has passed each quiz overall query type. In this case, we don't need to choose the quiz, just click on the Show on Chart button. And on the left side, we can see the live preview of our chart, which makes clear which particular quiz this user passed more. Well, uh, now as we already find out how many times Jessica has passed the what is your travel personality quiz, uh, let's check her score on that quiz. This time, let's repeat the same steps and choose the line chart type. Now, by clicking on the select query field, let's choose the current user score on the chosen quiz type. So let's choose the same quiz and click on the uh, show on chart button. On the live preview of the chart, you can see the result. By hovering, you can find out the user's score. Okay, as we find out the score of Jessica on this quiz, let's now change the chart type, uh, choose the column type and find out how many people get a particular score on this quiz uh, by changing the type of query and selecting uh, the number of people who get a particular score type. Again, click on the show on chart button. That's all, our chart is ready. Now, let's create one more chart by changing the chart type to pie chart type. Let's find out how many times both uh, the logged in users and just guests have passed all the quizzes for the last 7 days. 
so we choose the pie chart type as it will be easier to see the difference in it. As you can see, 17% of the quiz takers are logged in users and only 30% are guests. I think that's all as this chart type is also ready. As you can see, this feature works great. All you need is to have both plugins and choose the best chart type for your needed query. Thanks for watching us and see you soon. Bye.